guys, in this video I'm going to be going over three digital illustrations, um, a Supergirl painting that didn't quite hit the mark, a character concept for kind of a jungle hunter girl, and then a warrior who just killed a giant demon or something like that. So uh, let's check these out and see how the progress or lack thereof is going. So this first drawing is, or painting, is a kind of a jungle hunter girl um, and you can see I'm just blocking in colors, real simple uh, flat colors right now. I'm not worried uh, about detail or anything like that. I just want to get the form down. Um, you can see me like change the dog's uh, positioning on the head there. Uh, this drawing I was somewhat happy with uh, the skin tones and stuff like that. I, I felt like and the color scheme overall was kind of interesting and fun. Um, and this was the first one where I started to think about, you know, m what colors would work best, uh, like the green and the purple, and then kind of like that brown orange, like a, uh, what would you call that, like a terracotta, like a Aztec type um, clay armor is what I was going for. Uh, and I, I feel like it turned out pretty good. Uh, I wanted to incorporate the, the dog's like fur, like that purple fur into her armor because I wanted them to be really connected. So one thing about working on the iPad and Procreate is you can zoom in, and this is true of digital art uh, in general, uh, even on my Cintiq, you know, sometimes I feel like I would zoom in too much um, and you can't see me zoom in. Uh, in this video, it doesn't show that in the time lapse. It just captures the screen. But I'm zooming in, and some I feel like when I zoom in too much, I actually create crappier artwork. You'll see that later on the Supergirl uh, painting. But I'm trying to, especially now, because this is probably a month ago that I painted this one. But I'm trying to make sure I I don't zoom in too much. Only when I have to, and like her eyes, like I zoomed in really close on her eyes and they just don't look right. Like when you zoomed in that far, you add detail and spacing that isn't there uh, when you're looking at it from a certain distance. So that's one tip I would tell you guys if you're trying digital art and stuff is try not to zoom in too much. Try not to use it like that because I, I feel like uh, it just doesn't, anytime I do that, I, I overwork things and it just doesn't look very good. Um, but yeah, so with this drawing, I feel like the, her pose is much better than some of the pencil stuff I've done in the past, or the way her body uh, stands again. And I think that's largely because of the, this painting style where I'm just blocking in the shapes. And I mentioned this in the last video, is I get a better sense of how that body's resting and where the weight of the body is. Um, and that was always an issue I had when I worked in my sketchbooks that I'm just not having anymore. Uh, or at least to the degree I did before. Um, but overall, you know, like I said, this is one of my earlier uh, drawings, and it's all right. The dog, the dog, I don't know, he just looks silly. Kind of his hair is, uh, I don't know. There's aspects of this that I think are just kind of silly to me. But um, yeah, overall, interesting character concept. And yeah, learned a lot. I feel like I like the way the armor, I feel like I got that that clay look to her armor and I felt like she was a unique, interesting character. So yeah, overall, uh, I felt like this was a decent step in the right direction. So as you can see, I, I tried some different poses in this one um, at the beginning and that's one awesome thing about digital art that you can kind of just mess around and clear your uh, layer and start it again fairly quickly. But again, just blocking in shapes. And this is um, another one of the earlier ones I did. Uh, this is a warrior and he's sitting at first, because this drawing definitely evolved. At first I'm like, okay, he's sitting on some rocks um, and his battle just got over. But as I developed this one a little bit more, I'm like, Ooh, what, wouldn't it be cool if he's like sitting on top of like a demon's head or something and his sword is like buried in its skull. Uh, so that one, that's how this one kind of evolved into it. So one of the other things I was working on with this is 
not worrying so much about adding every little detail in. And with the digital painting uh, and starting out so rough with these drawings, I feel like I'm creating more of a focal point and more of uh, an interesting piece of art because in the past I try and add all the detail and this has always been a flaw of mine. Um, like every little detail in the face, regardless of what where the light is coming from. So with these newer drawings, and this one especially is, I know I thought of this a lot, is you can't see a whole lot of detail on his chest armor or anything like that because it's all in shadows. Same with his face. It, uh, the light is strong over his shoulder, and so kind of the left side of him and everything is, is real dark. And I didn't want to ruin the painting by adding too much detail in there. So I felt like I was pretty successful. Uh, one other thing I was working on this one too, you can see it in the demon, is I used some interesting brushes to add some texture. And I can see how doing things like that in the future is just going to just make these paintings pop. You, I mean, it looks like he, the demon's got like rough skin and it's such a beautiful contrast to his shiny armor. Um, but I really like the, the painterly quality to this painting. And I feel like um, it's one of the first ones I worked on that really set a mood. Uh, I mean, that first demon one did as well, the, the kind of demon hunter one. But this one, I feel like, was a full scene um, that, yeah, just a different color scheme. And it, it, I felt pretty good about that one. That was a good one. So unlike the next one. So for some reason, I deleted the time lapse of this one. I'm not really sure how or if I even recorded or whatnot. But this was a painting that really just, ugh. The, the form isn't great. I actually wish I had the time lapse because I'd like to go back and see where I made the mistakes. That's a, another beautiful thing about the time lapse is you can see where you started making mistakes and stuff like that and how, because some of these I actually liked earlier on in the drawing process. Um, so I, it's nice to be able to see where things went wrong. So I feel like it's important to show you guys the bad ones as well as the good ones. And so with this one, there's no good, like, strong light source. Uh, the skin is very um, airbrush looking, which I really don't like. Uh, I know some artists pull it off really well and it looks good, but uh, it's just not something. Her posture and form, not super great. Uh, her hand, eh. So I wanted to zoom in on her face real quick, just so you can see an example of zooming in. Uh, Cause I actually really like the way her nose turned out at a very up close uh, point of view. Her eyes, I mean, she still looks Barbie-ish and very just, I don't know. There's, it's just not a beautiful, pretty face to me. It's very cartoonish, but it's uh, still way too airbrushed. But it's because I was zooming in way too much on this one. This was the one where I realized, okay, let's let's take a step back and keep the the canvas at the viewer's perspective uh, a little bit more than I had been. So I, I learned some. In fact, the terrible failures that you work on, most of the time you learn the most from. So hopefully I don't create any more of those uh, going forward and I can create some more like that warrior on the demon's head. But anyway... Uh, that's the video you guys. I hope you liked it and I hope you're enjoying these digital art videos. Um, I'm really, really, really enjoying uh, digital painting on my iPad right now. I uh, feel like uh, I'm at a place where I'm really enjoying art like immensely again. Uh, I can't wait to do it every day. So uh, anyway, I will talk to you guys later. <laughs>